everyone was. He seemed really upset. Didn't you just do a grand decree? Mostly, <coughs> yes. And his mother and the king kept trying to persuade him to snap out of it. Very pathetic of him. I know. Mind you, there were other theories of pain and behavior, such as, well, Ophelia and Polonius, and little theories <coughs> all of their own. Father, I'm really worried. What about you, Ophelia? Prince Hamlet's been acting really strangely towards me. What do you mean, acting strangely? He hasn't said anything unpleasant, has he? Well, no, not really. He turned up while I was sitting sewing the other night and began behaving in a really weird manner. What? Weird is our normal? Much. He looked mad, to be perfectly honest, as if he had all the cares of the world on his shoulders. That'll be grief. I know about these things. I don't think it's just that, though. He stood in front of me, took my wrist, and stared at my face for ages, as if he was searching for some sort of answer, but I didn't know what to say or do. Do you think he's mad with love for you? I don't know. Possibly. He and I have been getting close, and before his father died, he was beginning to show signs of deep affection. Maybe it's like he was what's causing him to act so strangely then, not grief at all. I haven't given him any reason to behave in such a way, though. Have you rejected his father, though? I've not rejected or encouraged him. I've just been myself, but he seems to be acting more and more weirdly. The king and queen will be very anxious to, really, to hear this. They'll be very relieved to hear that Hamlet's behavior is to a simple matter of unrequited love and not madness as they think. What should I do? Well, test his reading for you. If you stay here and pretend, and pretend to be reading this book, I'll leave. When Hamlet arrives, as he often does pass by this way, speak to him. Note his reaction to you. If you can, try to make him declare his love to you. Then we can. 